So we are reading today again from this beautiful, beautiful realizations of Naratam Dastaku. Gorasuna is also here. He's giving me the blessings. <laughs> <laughs> so, Naratam Das Thakur has left all his feelings in his songs and in the compilation of all his realizations in Prema Shri Shri Prema Bhakti Chandrika. Why? Because it is important that our bhakti will grow from Vaidhi Bhakti into Prema Bhakti. And that is the book that gives the confidential um, informations, not only informations, feelings of Narottam Das Thakur's, and also it is a straight line, hardcore, how do you say that? Um, guidance in the way of Nitai. And I mean, I must admit, usually I always choose the verses that are in the context to Shri Shri Radha and Mohan's Leela. But today I, I chose one uh, verse that is also very nicely giving his mood because he's not only sentimentally saying how great is Radha and Krishna all the time, sometimes he's also saying what is right and what is wrong if you want to enter from Vaidhi Bhakti, from religious practice into spiritual life. So this is one of these verses and I somehow thought, okay, let's meditate on not how not to waste my life <laughs> because the subject is called wasted life, <laughs> wasted time, wasted energy. <laughs> So that is a very important subject to all of us. And also on uh, in the last Zoom, Gurudev was lamenting. Oh, please pray for me. I cannot have any, any bhajan. I want to go in bhajan. So we also, we want to follow examples of our great Mahajans. How to go into the right uh, feelings, in the right moods. And how to not waste the life, how to make your life useful, no? how to make life positive and how to make life creative and in the feelings of a spiritual flower girl in the garden of Radharani's service. So, verse 95. Nahi bhakti rasandhan. Bara me koro yidya Brita tare e tara jivane Oh my god, it was only the half. The other half was on the other side. Radhe Krishna nahirati Anya deve bole pati Prema pakti riti nahirane so it is also quite uh, evident, Radha Krishna Nahi Rati. If I don't have Nahi, in Hindi they say Nahi, Nahi, Nahi. Rati, if I don't have Rati, if I don't have attachment, then it is wasted. Without attachment, nothing is going really in the flow. When we go in the flow, it is the attachment that makes the things go, how do you say, in a certain direction, in the direction of love and in the direction of feelings. So if we have no uh, rati, no this intense attachment, prema bhakti riti nahi jani, prema bhakti will not come. That is the words of Naratam Das Thakur. So I like these strong words today. They remind me also what is important in my life. If I'm just floating around without any goal, then it will not be so powerful. It will not be so strong. And also, I will not feel so many things that I would like to feel in the service. Oh my God, now Skora is coming. Yes, when Rati... 
<laughs> this rate rate. So rate is is uh, only coming by one who knows who he is, because for attachment I have to know myself and I have to know the person to whom I'm attached. If I don't know myself, how can I be attached to someone? We know this in the material world even. We have some attachment, uh, for example, one has uh, uh, children and automatically he is attached to his children, even grandchildren. So, uh, this is, uh, Rati is there. It's uh, natural. Rati is Rati And uh, if we have Guru Dev, we also attached. We have automatically Rati. Jai Rade. Shri Guru Charane Rati. This is the Charada Charan Seva. He is giving us Charan Rati. Connect us to Guru So, and in our case, we have. You like to add something, Guru Dev? Yeah, I have phone go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so the Rati, yeah, the Rati, and and uh, in that moment we understand uh, Guru Dev's teaching about our self. He is he is teaching us who we really are. He is giving us the blessing that we understand who we are. And in our case, in our case it is, uh, we are a manjari. So then, automatically we are, we have an identification with our spiritual body as a manjari. Now, the only question is, who is our Ishtadev? So that we become attached to this Ishtade. And this is also given by Guru Dev, our one pointed attachment to Swamini as a Manjari. So now it's clear which kind of, of bhav of Rati will come. Bhavulas Rati. Bhavulas Rati is the attachment to our Swamini only. Not attached to Krishna and Swamini, but mainly always to Swamini. This is Manjari Bhav. It's a, a total lo loyalty. This is the teaching of Narottam Das and our Gurudev. This is very important to understand this. We are not Sanchari. We are Stai. We are fixed. Manjaris has to be very fixed because they, they do the most intimate seva. Right, Suniti? Nobody can enter the Kunja. <laughs> I hear that it is like this and I believe it. <clears throat> yes. Rati, Babulas Rati. Gurudev is giving us hope that it will be like this. And Narottam Nastaku also, he says, Wasted is the life of someone who does not love Radha and Mohan. Yes, He's this is straight here. This is, yes, but we understood that we are more Radhika, not both simultaneously. We are always. Or attached to Radhika. Because Radhika Mohan is not my Mohan, Radhika's Mohan. Radhika's Mohan, yeah. <laughs> it's a difference, huh? We are not friends. We are no. Dasis. We are Radhika's Mohan worshipping. Radhika is my God.
So, Mairati is Radhika. Yeah. So, this is navigator's job to say the right thing. Radhika. Radhas Mohan. Yeah. <laughs> Not Sadhu Maharaj Mohan. Radhika. <laughs> So that is a special feeling and that we have to also learn how does it feel, how does one meditate in the service of Srimati Radhika. And the one point that he makes here is we should not waste our life, but we should uh, seek devotion and practice that and not get mixed up with all kinds of uh, false meditation. So again, I so, read sorry, it. Suniti. Yes, the mic, the mic, the mic is very low. <laughs> oh my God! Again, it is low. Now is it better? Uh, yeah, now, now is better. Okay, good. Wasted is the life of someone who does not love Radha and Mohan, who calls other gods Lord, who does not know the way of ecstatic loving devotion who does not seek devotion, who practices all kinds of false meditation. So this is also not a Tamdas Thakur Gurudev, huh? No, no, very fast. You are very fast. Okay. Nobody can translate you and nobody will understand. He's a okay. Rasa not a Tattva Vichar. Where is it? Tattva can be a faster like this, but Rasa <laughs> has to be slow. It Rasa, be it has to become slower Rasa. and steady, but slow. Thank Prabhu you, Pada, Guru. Never forget. Slow but steady. Wasted. Again. Wasted is the life of someone who does not love Radha and Krishna. Wasted is the life of someone who calls other lords, God's Lord, who does not know the ways of ecstatic. Who would say the God? Jesus never said God. God saying means I want to see as the Amazon. Yes, I, I want, want to I have no business to love you. Mm. Long distance. Long distance. I don't want to relate with you. I don't want to love you. I want from you something. So you are God. Almighty. And, and who, who see Radha Dasi, he see the cowboy. He's only gardener. <laughs> the garden, garden boss is my Radhika. <laughs> He's a gardener. He works for Radhika. He's the gatekeeper of Vrindavan. He watch mm. man. He's a chore even. Huh? He's a thief, Gurudev, a chore. Yeah. <laughs> That's another feeling, right? <laughs> yeah. And wasted is the life of someone who does not know the ways of ecstatic loving devotion. Yeah, this is the point. Loving devotion, how it will come? When he is a very, very high, you can love only in parallel. Mm. Nobody loves his boss even. <laughs> Because boss is not my parallel. I follow his instruction. 
I love we have to bring the cup of tea. We will not do this. We have to small small deal. He has a small cup. Already is done. Okay. Keep it small. Yes, ecstatic love is happening between equals. Those who are not fearful of each other, they can even chastise each other. That is the love. <laughs> and then it can become ecstatic Gurudev because otherwise it's the Lord it's the boss I have to do my duty you see there is every word is a meaning yes in this verses we have to take care of every word and uh, Lord what Gurudev said is uh, Jesus never used this because he is in relationship to his father. We also not say to our father or oh God or oh Lord. <laughs> That's not natural. So we also in relationship by mercy of Gurudev, he give us this relationship he give us our spiritual identification and a clear ishtadev and by this knowledge we can enter into relationship and then rati is following on the path naturally devotion also is the way of the service Devotion, natural, is coming when there is a love. You cannot do the devotion. You cannot serve someone if you have mm. no love. Mm. It seems you love by devotion. <laughs> I, I am very happy to share the meaning of love that I am ready to give myself to you in my love. <laughs> that is love. <laughs> love means to giving. Mm. What makes happy to you, I am ready to give. That is devotion. I am ready to do everything for that. Where the Radhika is there, devotion is there. Mm. The love is there, there is the devotion. You see, everyone is start coming. This is the reality. They cannot hide themselves. These words are explaining that we have to develop devotion with love. If love is not there, Radhika is not there. Devotion will never come to you. Why I talk Jesus, Jesus? Because he is the devotion. His mm. devotion shows Radhika inside. Mercy of Radhika is there. Mm. <laughs> Are what we can give body only? No? Are he is ready to give himself? for his father. You take my life 
life is for you, my dear. I give my life to you. This is the beauty of life. You can see who wants in spiritual life, they see like this. Who, who want religious life, they go to church to block this subject. He crucified for us. <laughs> Two thousand years back, Sadhu Maharaj will come and he will crucify for me. <laughs> 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 we take our senses. <laughs> no, sins. Sin, 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 sorry. <laughs> See, that is the difference when the Guru is talking and when the disciple tries to say something. Because I speak like a horse and I'm jumping, but when Gurudev says only one sentence, then the tears are coming, right? <laughs> This is the reality. Why are you asking something? Give something. Love means to give, asking not. Giving is the beauty. Asking is temporary. What I can ask? Material thing. What? I will achieve with this material thing. All has to go in garbage. There is no pocket in the, what you say? In the last moments. Uh, yes. Das letzte Hemd hat keine Taschen. If I'm asking, uh, it means I want to be in, continue to be in illusion. I'm asked to God to continue to be in illusion. Please leave me <laughs> in my illusion. How good if, if we don't is uh, old. Yeah. Connection is out. Oh. But yes, this asking business, no? We know it in all relations. We always have, the, as I, I know it. I have the tendency also to ask. If you are like this, then I can be better to you also. <laughs> Just behave like this and like this, then I will be like this and like this. This is actually very, uh, yeah, like we would have said, Amazon mentality. Actually, actually Suniti, Suniti uh, only relation yes? is the reality. Only relation is the reality. And the sentiment would come. There are the only reality. All other things are illusion. So because of that, maybe Guru Dev said, Amazon, only Amazon, only business. I, I know that this is God, I feel that this is God, but I continue to ask him for myself, for my, I don't know where I will go, but I ask him just to be good here. Yeah. Yes. Rade, you are back. <laughs> We're talking about Amazon, Gurudev, this is illusion. Oh, unmute who Dave, please. Uh, yeah. Last word, after that, there is no pocket. So what I will bring when I will die? Nothing. So what I, am, I will ask to God? If I'm living in a material consciousness, some material thing, 
This is totally crazy idea. Love, devotion, can make us more pure and more living. Yes, good. If we want to become alive in the feelings of Shrimati Radhika's service, that is our goal. And these feelings we can take to our next destination. These feelings are eternal. See that. Oh. Wasted is the life of someone who does not seek devotion and who practices all kinds of false meditations. Other than her is all false. That's why Jesus was giving his whole body, Gurudev, his whole suffering, everything that he was going through. It was you the know, expression. They wait other than Father. And he see all the family in the universe, what he means. He sees like a brother and sister. Because one family of the Father. His behavior and service like that. So he was fixed in her son nature to look father all the time. That is the sarup. Our our sarup is Radhadas. And that devotion we need. Other is other false meditation. Out of this is all false. Meditation means thinking. If we put time out of this, is wrong. Bhakti is the essence of Ladini, joy, and some with knowledge aspects of the Lord's internal potency. Bhakti is a? The essence of the Ladini. Alladini, Radhika. Mm -hmm. And some bit aspects of the loving devotion. Therefore, devotion is transcendental and not a mundane human mental transformation, Gurudev. That is a nice <laughs> sentence. Yeah. Diversion come here that we start calculating in human, then it's wrong. Yeah. We cannot calculate in bhakti or in devotion. And if we try to calculate, it is a mental transformation. It is something of the material mind. Even in the stage of sadhan, its constitutional position is not diminished. Yeah. Yeah. Even if not 
finance my constitutional position is always there and that work is my sadhana to reach to my goal is my sadhana what is the blocking in between me my conditional circumstances how to remove to come to my constitutional position is my sadhana what is my blockage by condition marginal thing from nature in my constitution that activity are to move that way is my sadhana Wow, and every book you take is all the same thing is there. <laughs> the same nectar drop school day. What to do? Narayan Ma, are you foolish? You don't understand. After so much giving time, are you, all the scripture is talking only one thing. is <laughs> everything is by mercy coming to us there is no other way all is kripa sat by grace and that time same word is repeated and one time i not listen i don't understand so he said we are fully i like this word when i listen really foolish why prabhu pas se ras kar really we are ras kar talking talking is the same thing but we not understand because we are ras kar Rascal means what is the meaning? Full of ras. <laughs> no. <laughs> means uh, <laughs> foolish, Gurudev. <laughs> foolish. <laughs> foolish. No, so foolish. Let's think again. Who's possible? Who can choose the one? Huh? Yeah. That's why uh, when when Narayan Maharaj was chastising you, it was also full of rascal day. When he calls you foolish, you also enjoy this. It was very sweet. I, I, when I, I say I say are you foolish, why I like to repeat this word that really I am still foolish. Mahajan words not wrong. We have to be foolish child to understand Vajendra Nanda. Without foolishness and becoming child, nobody can understand Vajendra Nanda. He is a child and a family sister. So he blessed me to be foolish. Yay! <laughs> See, good <Kuru> day. <laughs> My God, what a blessing! <laughs> In the Upanishads, it is said, devotion takes the devotee to the Lord's abode. And helps him to see the Lord. The Supreme Lord is subdued by devotion. 
and devotion is the best means to attain the Lord. Wow. Here, the following consideration is being made. What is the characteristic of that bhakti that delights the Lord in his own bliss? Bhakti is not the illusory happiness arising from the mundane mode of goodness. As the Shankyavadis say, because it has never been heard anywhere that the Supreme Lord is subdued by Maya. So, Bhakti is not the inner bliss of the Lord as the non dualists think, because in Bhakti the Lord finds greater bliss than even in his own innate bliss that we have heard in Chaitanya Chaitamrita when Krishna is saying that I don't know what is the happiness that Srimati Radhika is experiencing. Although I am the enjoyer of everything, I cannot come close to what she feels. No, good. If she, good. Uh, uh, Krishna has so much happiness already in himself, but she Radhika's bhakti, her love, or she herself as the goddess of love, he cannot. He's a foreigner to that devotion, and that's why she can subdue him. Bhakti can subdue the Lord. So this is a glorification of bhakti, actually. Of We can always feel our Swamini. Bhakti means for us, our Swamini Shemati Radhika. And that's why in bhakti, the Lord finds greater bliss than even in his own innate bliss. Because the Lord is also blissful. But he became a cowherd boy to experience and play in the realm of Prema Bhakti. And Bhakti is not a kind of human joy because that is very... Uh, Tasteless or trifle, Baba says. This threefold innate, innate or inner energy consisting of the three faculties of Sandini, Samwet, and Ladini is naturally existent in you. The mundane modes of goodness, passion and ignorance are not present in you who transcend these modes. This is still the prayer from the Upanishads. Therefore, the Lord's energy, known as Ladini Shakti, has an outstanding, paramount, transcendental and innate faculty named Bhakti. Hmm. 
So in Krishna's Ladini Shakti, there is one outstanding, paramount, overwhelming, transcendental inner faculty. It's called bhakti or devotion. And although the Lord is the embodiment of bliss, through this faculty, he even relishes special bliss while it gives delight to others also. This is so, so special actually. It sounds difficult, but it is actually not. It is the glories of Shibhati Radhika's love. Although Mohan is the embodiment of bliss, he is already made of Satchit Ananda. But through Srimati Radhika's love, even he relishes special bliss and it gives delight to others also. And this pleasure potency is an overwhelming faculty of bliss and it is eternally present in the hearts of the devotees under the name of love of God. For this reason, the Lord also worships his devotees with great love, just to experience this. What to speak of Srimati Radhika's service. So when here we hear that Even Krishna is worshipping his devotion, his devotees, because they are full of love of God. And even that is so attracted to him. And he wants to experience how it feels to be a devotee. It makes him very happy to feel this love to feel this happiness of the love of God which is in the heart of his devotees. And of course, especially in the heart of Srimati Radhika. And that he wants to experience. That's why he became Gauranga, right? He has to experience that field of love where someone is subdued. Krishna wants to be subdued. He wants to experience that overwhelming bliss of being a servant of Srimati Radhika. I will read this again, it's so sweet. This pleasure potency is an overwhelming faculty of bliss. And it is eternally present in the hearts of the devotees under the name of love of God. So we know love of God is prema. Prema Bhakti Yaha Hoite Avidya Vinashayate. For this reason, the Lord also worships his devotees with great love just to experience this. This is in a direct 
connection also to our Sri Chaitanya Chaitamrita. Why Krishna wants to experience this love? Because he is so attracted, he is so overwhelmed that he himself, he is a foreigner. Srila Prabhupada writes, he is a foreigner. It is, not, it is something that he has not experienced. And he wants to experience how it is to live in this prema, in the love of Srimati Radhika and in the love also of her dasis. When the devotees of Krishna serve Krishna, they do so only to make him happy. When their worship is free from personal desires, Krishna's innate energy, Ladini, enters within the devotees' hearts. So it's also amazing to meditate. When any service that is done to the Lord or to Krishna, in a selfless, free from personal desires, feeling mood, then Ladini becomes attracted. Shimati Radhika is entering in the form of bhakti into the devotees' hearts. The special condition that is then created what is happening then when this is this combination takes place that gives delight to Sri Krishna is called Prem. When the worship of the devotees is free from personal desires, Krishna's innate energy, Ladini, enters within the devotees' hearts. So Gurudev was just explaining so beautifully in the beginning that how can it happen that worship is free from personal desires? Only if I can give fully myself. Fully. Not like in a religious way, I just go to church to get rid of my sins or to the temple to do my duty. But meaning I want to give myself and not then it is free from personal desires. And then when our devotion has reached that level by mercy, then Ladini enters into the devotees' hearts. So we can say that this Ladini is Srimati Radhika herself in a way that she comes into the hearts of the devotees, of her devotees, who are her devotees. These are the maidservants only. Because they are ready to give themselves, all of them. Just like Srimati Radhika is giving herself, all of herself to Maha. Just like Jesus is giving all of himself to his Father. And that special condition that is created with this, with this love, with this kind of quality of love, that gives pleasure to Krishna. And it's called Prem.
apart from this, Ladini's purpose cannot be fulfilled, because her task is to make Krishna relish a, denied, a, de, a relish, a delight, named the ecstasy of his devotee's love, which is even more relishable than his inner energy itself. Wow, I just love this. It's all about the glories of bhakti and devotion. Bhakti or Ladini will come only where Krishna is the... when Krishna or Srimati Radhika, of course, who is Bhakti herself, will be loved for themselves, for their own happiness, for their happiness, not for my happiness. Therefore, Ladini will not come to those who worship Sri Krishna, and that's why Baba says Sri Krishna, Radha Krishna, with some desire for current or future personal benefits. Therefore, it is said, as a quote of Chaitanya Chaitamrita, Bukti Mukti Siddhi Vancha Mane Yodi Roi, Sadhana Korile O Prema Utpana Na Hoi. If the desire for enjoyment, liberation, or mystic perfection is still in the heart, prema will not awaken even if sadhana is performed. Wow. <laughs> I will read that again for my purification. If the desire for enjoyment, liberation, or mystic perfection is still in the heart, Prema will not awaken even if sadhana is performed. So that's why Gurudev in the beginning he uh, explained that uh, this bhakti can only come when we are in the equal relation when we are not thinking of the Lord or the boss or my superior, my worshipable, but when we are in a loving relationship. And then it is free from personal desires because I want to give myself. That is... Uh, that is the quality of love when then when Ladini will come, when Srimati Radhika will enter the heart, she will come. Because now she is using her dasi to give delight to Sri Krishna. And that's what we are reading also the you know, in our Vilapa Kushmanjali, that Srimati Radhika is using her maidservant. And the maidservants, they want to be used and be molded by Srimati Radhika in the way that she wants. They have no more selfish uh, calculations. They don't even know what it is. And in that moment, also Baba is explaining here in this purport, when the devotee has reached that level, then Srimati Radhika, then Prema, will come and enter the heart and then all activities, all words, all, all services and all sadhana will be for that goal only to be used as an instrument of love. Oh, Rande. Therefore, Srila Thakur Mahashoi says, Wasted is the life of someone who does not know the ways of ecstatic love and devotion, who does not seek devotion and who practices all kinds of false meditations. 
They have no idea what is the nature of devotion or her constitutional position. Still they continue to meditate on all kinds of gods and goddesses. Jai Jai Shri Radhe! <laughs> It's all about the glories of our Swamini Gurudev. And one sentence I want to repeat, which I liked very much also. That bhakti in the stage of, ba of sadhana, It can mercifully, merci, mercifully appear within the senses and mind of a devotee who is surrendering to Sri Hari's lotus feet and manifest itself in the form of activities like hearing and chanting. So I was when I was reading this, then I really think that to like to hear and to like to to chant is also mercy.